What do you get when you combine the tower defense goodness of the Kingdom series, the addictive underground excavation of Terraria, and add some of the best pixel art and color palettes into the mix? You get Dome Keeper, a roguelike mining and tower defense game that has been my latest obsession. In Dome Keeper, you're an interplanetary miner of sorts who is tasked with creating a new dome and a new home. Upon choosing your type of dome, your preferred primary gadget, and descending onto your new planet, this is where that addictive gameplay loop begins. The loop is composed of digging tiles to your heart's content gathering resources and protecting your dome from wave after wave of enemies. As you dig deeper, you'll locate one of several kinds of resources that will be pivotal to making it far into a run. Iron is used primarily to buff your character's stats, water is used for certain gadgets, and cobalt can be used to improve your HP and will get you out of a jam in later waves. Each wave is based on a timer, so you'll need to pay attention when exploring below. The conclusion of the timer marks an onslaught of dark and ominous enemies that are ready to hunt you down. To fight these monsters, you'll start out with either a laser or a sword that can extend for some long-range stabbing. Waves start off easy to get your feet wet, but as the run goes on, be prepared for some spicy fights. Upon the conclusion of the wave, the timer resets and you can continue to mine and explore. You'll start off pretty weak, pretty slow, and you won't be able to carry much at a time, but the more resources you gather, the better you'll become. This is done via the skill tree system, which is accessible at any time. Want a stronger drill or to move faster? Or would you like a more powerful laser or a giant sword? You have a ton of options here to maximize your favorite aspects of the gameplay loop. You can even improve your carrying capacity to go from barely hauling any loot to lugging resources around like you just got home from the grocery store. Along the way, you'll also unearth new items to aid in your quest to save your dome. These range from stun lasers that work automatically in battle, bombs for faster excavation, and even a cute little dino named Drillbird who will dig for you. When he's not sleeping, of course. You'll also find some more mysterious items like tree seeds, speed buffs, and more that make each run feel unique. The ultimate haul is the core, which when activated along with its switches will both save your dome and complete your run. The core won't be easy to get and sometimes can be tricky to find, but unearthing it is incredibly satisfying. If you manage to complete a run, you'll have a chance to unlock more dome types, updated gadgets, and a second mode called Prestige. This is a high score mode with an online leaderboard for bragging rights. Dome Keeper balances the oddly relaxing and satisfying nature of digging and exploring while having enough looming tension to keep me engaged every time. The gameplay loop seems relatively simple at first, but much like Dome Keeper's procedurally generated maps, there's more beneath this game's surface. With the gorgeous pixel art, exquisitely changing color palettes, and atmospheric soundtrack, this is a roguelike adventure that is one of my favorites of 2022. Dome Keeper launches today on PC, and if you're planning on picking this up, let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe to discover your next favorite games, and I'll see you in the next one.